Kingdom of Denmark, a descendant of the great King Philip VI, enjoys a prosperous and successful reign. He built a great new hall called Hera, where his warriors can gather to gain, receive gifts from their lord, and listen to the stories sung by the Scots of Alba. But the jubilant knight from Hera in their splendor, a horrible demon who lives in front lines of Scotland's king. No one tries to play Gwendolyn, but a young Gaiatus warrior named Beowulf tears a plot their supply. Inspired by the challenge, Beowulf sails to Denmark with a small company of men, determined to defeat Gwendolyn. During the quest for the Geats, an envious day named Antwerp taunts Beowulf and accuses him of being unworthy of his reputation. Beowulf responds with a boastful description of some of his past accomplishments. So, you are all Geats? Yes, my lord. You travel across the ocean just for a treasure? No, sire. We travel here not for the treasure, but for the glory and my father's life. I hear that you're Beowulf, the son of H. Tayo, who lost in a swimming contest, and you expect that he can kill Grendel? Ha ha, how pathetic! Unfurt! No, sire, let him talk. Yes, I lost the contest because of the sea monster that I... What is your plan? Grendel is not a warrior, so he doesn't choose any weapon. So, I will fight him hand-to-hand -hand combat only. Are you sure of that? Yes, my lord. At last, however, Grendel arrives. They will fight to win on us, proving himself stronger than the demon. Grendel! As Grendel struggles to escape, they will tears the monster's eyes. Overjoyed, Grotgard showers Beowulf with gifts and treasure at a feast in his honor. Songs are sung in praise of Beowulf, and the celebration lasts late into the night. I'm sorry, Beowulf, for doubting you. We're sorry. Here, my sword. Take it. It's from our ancestor. Please take care of it. But another threat is approaching. Grendel's mother, a swamp hog who lives in a desolate place comes to Heyroth seeking revenge for his son's death. She murders Aesir, one of Rodgar's most trusted advisors, proving slinky and To avenge Aesir's death, the company travels to the Morgan Club, where Beowulf dies into the water and sets Wendell's mother in her underwater. Charles, sure, You must be Beowulf! Who killed my son? Curse of demon. You killed my son. So, now give me another child. Come here, Beowulf. So, that's what you want?
Then, finding Grendel's corpse, decapitates it and brings the head as a prize to Rothgar. He returns to Gayatland, where he and his men are united with their king and queen, Hygelac and Hyde, to whom Beowulf recounts his adventures in Denmark. Beowulf then hands over most of his treasure to Hygelac, who, in return, rewards him. In time, Hygelac is killed in a war against the Shifings, and after Hygelac's son dies, Beowulf ascends to the throne of the Geats. He rules wisely for 50 years, bringing prosperity to Geat land. However, a thief disturbs a barrow or mound where a Geat dragon lies. Sensing his own death approaching, Beowulf goes to fight the dragon. With the aid of Wiglaf, he succeeds in killing the beast, but a heavy coast. The dragon bites Beowulf in the neck, and its fiery venom kills him. According to Beowulf's wishes, they burned their departed king's body on a huge funeral fire, and then burned with him a massive treasure in a barrow overlooking and 